Well, Huawei believes that uh, entertainment video uh, advanced as a core video service in 2016 on par with uh, core services like uh, mobile and fixed broadband. Uh, enough so that the entertainment video grew to about 206 billion in 2016. And even then, uh, Huawei believes that there's opportunities for additional growth in adjacent vertical markets, markets like communication video, uh, industry video, and UGC. Huawei sees uh, the future in terms of video, in terms of convergence, convergence on uh, the vertical side in terms of uh, services that include entertainment video, communication video, industry video, and UGC. Huawei also sees the future in terms of convergence on the horizontal side for video across fixed and mobile broadband. It's interesting that Huawei uh, competes in terms of video solutions on a global scale. We have over 110 global operators with uh, over 73 billion or million uh, subscribers that are active. And we view the global market in terms of different segments. There are mature markets like the US and Western Europe where subscriber penetration has saturated and their focus is really going to be on churn abatement and ARPU growth. Um, in the same token, we see emerging markets like Southeast Asia, uh, Middle East, North Africa, and certain parts of Latin America where they're still focused on growth in, in building their subscriber base. So we see opportunities abound both in the mature market and emerging markets globally. So I think we, Huawei believes that in mature markets, service providers who are looking to increase their ARPU are going to exploit new opportunities in vertical markets. And innovation like convergence between entertainment video and communication video. Um, in terms of emerging markets, uh, Huawei will be helping operators in those markets uh, attain convergence horizontally uh, to, uh, to deploy video across uh, mobile and fixed broadband networks alike.